Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog, the travel vlog, day five of VidCon. This is the travel home vlog. Just finished showering, shaving, cut off all my wristbands, packing up, getting ready to go. Suitcase is all good to go. I'm hoping that this GoPro, which I'm gonna be using for the next day uh, for vlogging, I might actually have to use it for a few days. Um, but I'm hoping that this works well. Uh, the sound will be weird uh, compared to the other uh, camera. Uh, I'm gonna have to like do some research and see if I can get another one, get this one fixed. Anyway, my throat is a little sore from the beef bile and uh, the mustard chug. So we did the mustard chug first. I had to think about it, the strategy. I did the mustard chug first thinking that I'd be able to, I can't tell you anything about it, but I wanted to, you know, as a 32 ounce mustard chug and I didn't want that in my system. So if I uh, completed the challenge and everything was fine, then I wanted to do the beef bile uh, challenge and kind of drink it to the point where it makes me sick and gets all the stuff out of me. And, and I accomplished two birds with one stone, yes. Right now it is uh, 5.17 in the morning. I got up, I guess at four or something, and uh, went to bed at 12 something. So I only got four hours, three hours of sleep uh, because I need to upload this yesterday's video, I guess day four for you. It's very important that I get that out to you guys before I get on a plane. Uh, so everything's packed up. I have to go down to the office, business office, plug in, upload, uh, good out of the cable, good, 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 and uh, away we go, traveling home. As you can see, we're in the business office once again. I paid my bill, and I am uploading this. It is 5:30 in the morning, and it's not going to take as long. I think because everybody's sleeping, the uh, internet is very fast right now. So I'm going to take another 17 minutes to upload. I'm having the breakfast of champions. Didn't want to leave it in the room. Um, yeah, so I got up just a bit early, but I wanted to make sure this was up and ready to go for you guys so you can watch something today while I'm flying for many hours. So I came down, packed up my stuff from the uh, business office, come down here to wait for the shuttle 10 minutes early look at my phone there was a message saying I guess it was the front desk saying that your shuttle's here so the guy came in said it's, I'm here for a pickup and then left way to go premier or pro I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what company it is okay we made it to the airport so the guy uh, just uh, Saw that I wasn't there, went to another hotel to pick up somebody else, and then came back and got me, so it wasn't a big deal. Anyway, so we're here at Air Canada, I gotta check in, and I'll talk to you in a minute. You might notice, I'm out of breath. And that's because, excuse me, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just ran full tilt because I got inside, went to reach for my backpack, which has everything in it, and it wasn't on my shoulder. So I had to run. Luckily there's traffic. So thank God for LA traffic at the airport because the shuttle didn't get, I got like 500 feet a half kilometer oh my gosh I'm like exhausted <laughs> when, when, when everything is in one bag and you left it on the shuttle holy crap oh, Canada's way over there I still have a lot to walk back oh, excitement Woo. okay now we're good to go as long as the plane doesn't crash, we're good. But I'll be recording if it does. Okay, made it through uh, customs, no problem. 
It is 7.35 right now. My, fl my flight is at 11.15. So I've got some time. Had to buy a Starbucks. There's no Tim Hortons here. Um, but I put in lots of cream, two sugars, good to go. Uh, I was Matthew Santoro is on that plane. I didn't see him board, but he just posted that he's on a, heading back to Toronto. We're boarding a plane. That's the only one boarding right now. I'm on like an 11:15 flight. That one's leaving at 8:30. This one here is leaving at 9:45. Um, I asked if they had an extra spot on that one to see if I could get out of here earlier, but it's full. This one's oversold, but sometimes people don't show up, so I'm going to ask them. So I might be able to get out of here at 9.45, which would be a little bit quicker. All right, guys. Being at the airport for a couple hours, maybe three hours like I have, sometimes it's a good thing. I met some really cool people. I met a lady from Edmonton. I met another gentleman from Brampton. I met another guy from... Uh, Australia, Melbourne, Australia. So it's kind of cool. But I've had about four beers now, I think, and I have to go to the washroom. I just remember the last time I came through here, I guess this whole area was blocked off because they were doing construction on this staircase. But now it's all finished. I'm not even sure what's up there. Probably all like the private lounges and stuff. Lap dancing. Ooh, All right, guys, I'm on the plane between periscoping and logging and all this stuff. It's like crazy I'm trying to figure it all out. Kind of like in the middle of the plane somewhere. It's gonna suck. All right, guys, we Melbourne. Woo! Okay, Melbourne. Uh, one of the gentlemen that I met inside the airport. Uh, I'm locked out and got a window seat. We're behind the wing. Very nice. Once again, I apologize for the crappy audio and possibly video. I don't know yet. We'll find out when we get airborne. I look at this footage. All right, we're all landed. I'm just gonna wait for everybody to get off the plane. Nothing worse than pushing and shoving and trying to get off the plane first. So let's wait, all, wait for all these people to get off and then. Carol's hanging tight. She said, take your time, so I am. Someday, I'll be sitting here. That's the coolest. You always wanna be in the coolest. Thanks for accommodating me and getting me onto a window seat. Yes, Air Canada retweeted my tweet. At least favorite it anyway. Thank you.
So, beeline it for the customs. Got my declaration form all filled out. And away we go. Conditioning back there because you walk into this area and it was like crazy hot. <laughs> Trying to beat the, S, uh, the moving sidewalk people. Speed walking. Alright guys, I'm home and as you can tell, I still don't have a camera. I'm using my iPhone right now, but let's do happy birthday shoutouts. And now it's time for happy birthday shoutouts with my iPhone. Uh, for Wednesday, July 22nd, yes, I'm way behind. We have Colin, Tyler, Carlos, and John. Happy birthday, guys. Uh, for Thursday, July 23rd, I don't know where to look on my camera sometimes. I apologize. It's Joey, Elliot, and Toba Tobias. And for Friday, July 24th, it was uh, Bra uh, Braden, Thomas, Alex, Omar, and and Ben and Carol's cousin's wife Carrie happy birthday uh, Saturday July 25th was um, Natalie Brian Thomas and Noah Ryan Sunday July 26th was Carson uh, Jr. and Brandon Monday yesterday was Darla's birthday. Uh, I went to, to high school with Darla and we still know each other through Facebook. Uh, Louise, that's Paul's uh, friend from the Tickle Toad who they were uh, partners for many, many years. Happy birthday, Louise. Heinz, Brandon, Keith, and uh, Kurt, Arnie. Happy birthday, everybody, for Monday, July 27th. And today, I just got an email from Chad, or for Chad's birthday, happy birthday, Chad. Uh, Cameron, Natalie, Brandon, and Ben H. All right, guys. I hope you guys all have amazing birthdays. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your birthday, whether you went out and had a favorite dish at your favorite restaurant, or somebody made you something at home that you love to have on your birthday. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching all my travel vlogs uh, for the VidCon. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, huge experience. And I'm glad you guys came along with me. And I can tell because the view count was crazy. Bye.